Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is James Klein. This is Josue Rodriguez and Luis Chacon. We're team number one, and this is our Atomis Boat Track bot. Um, the motivation for our project was uh, we wanted to make uh, a way of having a mass supplier choose things off their shelf and by not going out to get them. Um, there's a lot of places where there's huge supplier companies that have shelves and shelves of products and they have to go fetch it whenever there's an order. We wanted to design a robot that would be able to go out off a shelf, the, choose a robot, come back without anyone having to control it. So it's sort of like a seek and retrieve robot. Um, we also wanted a new way to use sensors to learn them more and uh, be more familiar with these sensors. And uh, in the process, we customized our robot to be able to use these sensors in that um, way. We had a lot of challenges while, while presenting this project, while designing it. Um, some of the challenges was the design method, how we're going to make it track a, a place, for example, how we're going to make it turn a corner, how we're going to make it follow straight lines, how we're going to direct it, where it's going to go, things like that. Those are many challenges. Other things was uh, how we're going to fabricate the accessories that we made for the robot. We needed somewhere to um, put the sensors so that it could read the track and how it's going to direct it. Uh, so we need to add some features on it, such as you can see there's a front bumper there. Um, another challenge was building the actual track that's going to go on. Because it's uh, our own project, we had to design the track for it. As you can see, the course is custom made. We designed everything ourselves, uh, all the pieces in it, and the way it follows the track. Um, other challenges was during the design process, we ran into a lot of problems with the sensors. There was a lot of interference and in how sensors worked, and what order the sensors are going to be reading, and things like that. So we raised a lot of challenges, and to overcome those challenges, we had to, it took a lot of designing work. Uh, some components on a robot. This was a standard robot when we first got it. We had to have a few features, like I already said. The front bumper, for example, you can see, it has a, that's where we add all sensors to read. Um, also, uh, the sensors include the IR sensors, the frequency, the um, photoresistors, and the LEDs that send the frequency for the IR sensors. Um, the other component is, of course, the track. It's made of an MDF board. It's just a microfiber board, and it has a uh, spray painted white, and it has a black line around it, so it can follow the line until it gets to an intersection. And then under the board, there's a resistor network to light up all the LEDs, which all could be controlled by different switches. So the pro um, so our project, like I said, has IR sensors and photoresistors in order to make it track and uh, choose where it's going to go. The track itself. I just want to show you how it's used. It works up pretty quick. It has an on-off switch to turn on the whole thing. You can see some LEDs are already lit in. When the, the bobot, it follows a black line until it gets an intersection. That's when we have to decide where it's going to go. We could control where it goes by choosing which LED is on. For example, when it goes down here, it's going to see that the, left LED, the right LED is on, so it turns right. The center LEDs don't do anything. They just indicate it goes straight. We could uh, change these LEDs, for example. We could just turn it off. There, it will have the boba go straight, and if we turn this one on, it will make it turn left. All the LEDs are used switches to toggle to decide which way it's going to go. Okay, uh, as I mentioned a few slides ago, we, we, we came up with uh, many different designs for a boba. Uh, the first one that we had was like a street light. We had the idea, we didn't actually build it because it was going to be. Um, we were too complicated. It was we're gonna put like a scenario with street lights um, all over the track and have the sensors pointing up to read the light and, and basically do the same thing that we have here. But uh, we kind of gave that up because that would have given us more problems with interference. Like at least here we get rid of the interference because everything is facing down. Okay. Uh, then another one that we had, another one was uh, we were having. Another idea we had was just to put the, uh, the sensor just facing down like we did in the first project, but I mean, uh, at least we decided that it wasn't the best way to go. And then finally we came up with this. We have the bumper that, we made, that it's made out of PVC. Uh, we have the sensors right here in the bottom and then they are right here, okay? And that's, this is, of course, the final design that we, we did. Okay. You, might guys, you guys might remember from the last uh, presentation that we had, this is how we started, okay, just uh, uh, we, we painted uh, the base of the bobot, okay. Here we have the, the three sensors. Now we took, we went and we took, we went ahead and we took this one off because, uh, I mean, when it's going through the center, it just, 
following the black line. It's not, it's, it didn't need an LED to do that. It would have just confused them more. Okay? And uh, we did the design for the fence to get rid of the back wheel, but I mean, we, we put the lights from underneath, so really the back wheel goes over, but doesn't, doesn't really do any damage. And this is the design of the track like, like that we started with. You can see the corners. Those, those holes, those LEDs are gone because it didn't make any sense in having lights here because the, the robot would have had to turn anyway. So whether we had it on and off, it was no other way but to turn. So we took them off and then we replaced it with a black, with a black tape. And the actual design, it's almost identical to it. You know, the switches, uh, color color and everything, and that's, that's the track. Uh, this is, you know, we did the modeling of how we will implement the, the lights with the switches. Uh, that was the, the first uh, idea. Then the second one, just with the first bumper, and then you're going to see that we added a second bumper. This is the first one, and then the second one is here. Okay, this is for the photoresistors, for the iris sensors. Uh, 